Well, they say crime doesn't pay, but Crooks and Johnson County are apparently cashing in on copper. They are taking straight from the power poles. Yeah, as CBS 17's Holden Kowicki explains, the tricky theft has local law enforcement and utility companies working overtime to catch the crooks. Many residents of Brogdon community were hesitant to go on camera, but they did tell me that if things aren't nailed down or locked up, somebody's more than likely going to try and steal it. But a recent theft attempt shocked even the long-term residents. There's various places they can find materials, but the lines are really what they're, they're going after, which is, is, is amazing when you think about it because it's incredibly dangerous. According to an incident report from the Johnston County Sheriff's Office, someone tried to steal more than a mile of copper wiring right off the power poles on Creech's Mill Road. It really is amazing what people will do to get to this metal, and, and honestly, they're, they're going up against a 13,000-volt power line or in a substation, even you know more than 200,000 volts potentially coming through there. This is deadly electricity, and, and it's up on the top of a pole for a reason. Duke Energy spokesman Jeff Brooks says the stolen copper is valued at more than $63,000, but as this becomes a problem nationwide, many utilities are getting creative to make sure the crooks come up empty. We've been working over the last several years to replace copper on our system with copper cladding, which is almost like a type of aluminum material that, that really has no value on the scrap metal market. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office doesn't have any suspects at this time, but they're asking everyone in the community to keep an eye out for a black four-door Nissan truck that may have been a part of the heist. In Brogdon Community, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.